Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act 2. As you can see, Art Kirsch and I are with the fabulous Manny Pacheco, Mr. Forgotten Hollywood himself. Manny, good to see you. Glad to be back. Hey, Manny. How are you doing? Doing well, Art. You know, maybe well. uh, I was hoping you could help me out with something where you have some specific knowledge. Uh, as one of the, to us, most famous graduates of Van Nuys High School, uh, <laughs> there are others who have trod those holes, have they not, that might have a Hollywood connection? Some lesser knowns oh, than Manny Pacheco? I don't, I think they're way better knowns than Manny oh. Pacheco, but you know what? First of all, I want to send out love to my peeps <laughs> at Van Nuys, the Wolves, go Wolves! Yes, uh, yes. I, I went to school at Van Nuys. I'm, I'm a, a graduate of uh, 1975. And uh, while I was going to school and previous to me going to school there and after I went to school there, there's some very notable, famous people who went to Van Nuys High School. And the school itself has been used for Hollywood films and television shows for a long time now. Some of the sure. more notable early names that I, I'd like to mention, um, they go back really uh, much farther back than the more recent names. Uh, I want to begin with, um, let's let's start with Marilyn Monroe. She no, okay. actually spent a year there. I thought uh, she went to Hollywood High. She went to Venice High School and then Van Nuys High School. Mm. Oh. One of the most famous, but she only spent a year there. So, I mean, I, I don't know that she counts. Robert Redford went there. Uh, oh, really? Robert Redford was a graduate of Van Nuys High School, as as was Jane Russell. Can oh, you imagine I that? Would, I would have liked to have been in her class. Yeah, <laughs> I bet you would have. She, uh, yeah, Jane Russell, of course, uh, a find by Howard Hughes. Not sure if he found her out in Van Nuys, but he did find her and and put her in the Outlaw. Yep. And then she made, of course, a number of film noir films. Uh, she was also in uh, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. I mean, yeah, Jane Russell, uh, she was uh, quite a quite a quite a catch, and, but Robert Redford, of course, is no slouch as well. But you know, there's some lesser names. I mean, names that are pretty famous by our standards, but they're not they're not Robert Redford, Marilyn Monroe, or Jane Russell. How about Stacy Keach? No kidding. Really? Yeah, Stacy Keach was a graduate of of Van Nuys uh, High School. And, I always thought he was an East Coast guy. You know, he has that East Coast kind of. Yeah, you know Raymond Chandler kind of weathered look <laughs> about him, yeah. and uh, yeah, but he actually is a graduate of Van Nuys High School. You know who else went? If you ever watched the film True Grit, of course, the little girl there, Dar uh, Kim Darby, yeah. she went to Van Nuys High really? School. If you can believe that, yeah, yeah well, Kim Darby. She did look like a Van Nuys girl, as a matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Uh, other names? How about Tony Dow? Who is not nope, really? Yeah, he's not doing well right he's now. He's a beaver, was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's not doing well. He's he kind of has some uh, health problems. So I want to yeah. send some love to to Tony Dow. He yep. is a wolf. He's a, a very wolf. very wonderful guy. So so uh, Manny, yeah. Manny, before you go on with uh, perhaps some of these uh, other people, so other than its proxim proximity to Hollywood, uh, obviously there are other high schools that are in the area that probably have a roster of people who just wound up going to Hollywood. Is there something special about Van Nuys, let's say a drama program or something like that, or it just happened to be proximity to Hollywood? Well, it was kind of an oasis at the time in the 50s and 60s uh, of, of a lot of orange fields in the area. Now, now you look at it, it's right in the middle of a city. I mean, it's a, it's just a bunch of cities all put together in a lot of concrete. But there was a time in, you know, in the 40s and 50s that taking a trip out to the San Fernando Valley was a quaint trip. And Van Nuys was kind of that oasis of that quaintness. And um, now, today, you have to drive all the way out into Thousand Oaks. But but at the time, I mean, it was a place, it was an area, the valley, of course, where uh, stars would end up buying their ranches and their homes. Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz come to mind. Bob Hope bought in Toluca Lake. So, yeah, Van Nuys High School was one of many schools, like Birmingham High School, North Hollywood High School, Grant High School, where, uh, where a, a number of a actors also came from. Tom Selleck comes to mind. Uh, even Harvard Prep. 
um, had their share of, of famous folks. And, you know, we also had a share of a couple of uh, sports notorieties. Don Drysdale and uh, Bob Waterfield both went to Van Nuys High School as well. So there's some names. Here's another actor that I cannot not mention. That's Natalie Wood. Natalie really? Wood was a graduate of Van Nuys High School. Really? Yeah. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Now, in my class, I had a... A, a, a very famous person from a very famous family that went to my to, went to my high school, Van Nuys. And I have a wonderful story to tell if you allow me. Please. His name is Vince Van Patten. You know oh, his yeah. mm. Dick Van Patten, the whole Van Patten family. Um, Joyce Van Patten, the sister of Dick Van Patten. Um, the Van Patten's very prominent members of, of, of the classes of Van Nuys High. And Vince and I became friends. And of course, Vince, of course, was at the time a, a up and coming tennis pro, ended up yeah. doing some television and then now is a poker guru uh, with, with the World Poker Tour. And uh, in fact, probably a Hall of Famer by now in, in poker. Great guy. And I have to tell you this one story. When I was working at KRLA here in Los Angeles and we were going to do some sort of a a charity function where we were going to raise money for the John Tracy Clinic, which was near to my heart because John Tracy was the was the deaf son of Spencer Tracy, and Spencer Tracy's wife Louise formed this wonderful you know John Tracy Clinic to help uh, you know folks who are you know hearing impaired. And my boss said, "We need you to uh, do a live remote and call a tennis game at the Playboy Mansion," and I said. Of course, I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Can't turn that down. No, I didn't want to turn that down. And uh, they were going to have two uh, very popular pros. Uh, Rosie Cassell was one. I can't think of the other. But I asked my boss, I said, you know, I have a friend who plays tennis who's pretty well known. Could I ask him to be part of a, like a doubles tournament? And they said, sure. Who are you talking about? I said, Vince Van Patten. They go, how do you know Vince? And I said, well, I went to high school with him. I called Vince. Not even a problem. He said, I'll be there. Can I bring a friend? And I said, sure, Vince, bring whoever you'd like. That'll make for the doubles. He goes, yeah, I want to have him as my doubles partner. He, he's always my doubles partner. So when, when Vince arrived at the Playboy Mansion after I did my live remote, he walks up with none other than Bernie Capel <laughs> <laughs> of Get Smart and the Love Boat fame. Sure, sure. Doc That's of great. the Love Boat. Yeah, That's so there, there you go. We had Bernie Capel and Vince Van Patten playing tennis op opposite uh, two pros, Rosie Cazell being one of them, at the Playboy Mansion, and I was calling the game. So, uh, I, uh, man, that's a great story. I just have to say, where was Barbie Benton? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, uh, well, that's. Forgive well, me, on, I got on it. that note, it was 1980. All I know is it was 1987 when that happened, and it was just right, well. it was just a wonderful day. And of course, I got to meet uh, uh, Hugh Hefner. He came out in his robe and slippers, mm -hmm. you know, as he usually does, with with yeah. two uh, two uh, models on each side, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. It was just a really wonderful day, and we raised a lot of money for the John Tracy Clinic. So that it, all in all, it was a, it was a great and day. And you had a good time. And I got to spend t treasured time with a person that I went to high school with. And I, I you know, I, he's such, he's such a nice guy, you know, kind of looks in the mold of, of, a, of a Brad Pitt or Robert Redford, just a good looking guy. You would think that he'd be full of himself. He is, and I will say this publicly, one of the nicest, kindest, and really most respectful individuals that I know. And I'm really proud to call Vince Van Patten a friend. Right. As is the whole family. They're, they're yes. known to be just charming people. So, so, yes. Matt, so, Matt, are you, would it be fair to say that Van Nuys is one of the famous local high schools without an oil well? Without an oil well? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't have an oil. You well. don't have an oil well, but but you had really. We do have a lot of. We have a lot of wolves. Wolves, a lot of wolves. Oh. No oil well, uh, but you had a good time and. And it has, counting among its illustrious graduates, is Manny Pacheco. Yes, and after I graduated, one more name real quick, Paula Abdul. Oh. oh. That's good. Yeah, no. <laughs> it's a good name to end on. This was a, yeah. this was a good episode. Thank you.
Hey, Art, I, I, I don't mean to be rude, Manny, but Art, we need to wrap this up before Manny goes into the school song. Right. Oh, yeah. I, I can yeah. do that. Right. But no, I won't. No howling, Art, please. I, no howling. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you guys for allowing me to take a, a trip down memory lane. I appreciate that. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.